Oh, Riverdachi Netflix, buongiorno. Yeah, it was brilliant. Melbourne, wasn't it? Bellissimo, bellissimo. Was it an unexpected win? Um, yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? A bit of a surprise for everybody there. Uh, I think the biggest surprise was that there was no f**k-ups in the pit lane. Can I say f**k-ups? I can, you'll just beep it. Alright, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so no f**k-ups in the pit lane. Geo drove a great race, and uh, yeah, there we go, we win it. Uh, what am I expecting in Baku? Well, I mean, after Melbourne, it's, uh, the odds suggest lots of f**k-ups in the pit lane, don't they? Villain and welcome back to Forza Ferrari. It is the Baku Grand Prix today after our victory, a magnificent victory for Giovinazzi in Melbourne. And uh, well, we try and go uh, back to back here now, don't we? Um, we can see here we are currently uh, third in the constructor standings, a little bit behind uh, Aston Martin, just ahead of Mercedes. But we have upgrades on the car today, and Giovinazzi boots himself up to third in the driver's standings, only two points off second. We know, don't we, from real life? That is that is where the real uh, the real battle is this season. Verstappen will disappear off into the distance. Now, if we go and have a look at the inbox, there's a few things to catch you up on. Now, the main thing we've been upgrading is the helicopter pad or the helipad. Um, we currently have is this level four that's been completed, and we are going up to level five, or is this level five? Looks like it might be level five that's done. So, helipad, we'll go and have a close look in a second. But helipad is fully upgraded. The other upgrade that has taken place is the uh, the weather facility. Now, this is the one thing I do want to spend the money on upgrading because it can really influence the decisions we make in race. You know, if we if we saw from the red flag last race, didn't we? You can be thirty seconds out, and it can change your whole race. So, we we really want to try and make sure that the weather we forecast we get. We haven't had a wet race yet, but we want to make sure that when we do. The decisions we're making are based on the best information that we can we can get. So, yeah, we're, we're going to upgrade that again, and we'll keep going till we essentially get that uh, get that maximised. The other thing that has happened is a regulation vote, and uh, we have voted for low speed downforce changes for next season. So you can see how everybody voted there. Um, it's a strength for us. Is the uh, I think no, the host of high speed the strength. Anyway, it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter. So I just voted this way for no particular reason um so yeah that is that now what we do have is uh, now we can research the car we're not going to start doing that just yet because we need to be we need to be still obviously competing for this season as hard as we can to make sure we have a job for next season so let's go and have a look at the cars and we can see in a moment here that we have got a lot of things to add to this car uh if we go to uh, the swap out here we can see the front wing let's go to rank on the grid um, now we've got a new front wing to come onto the car, and this is going to move us up uh, in uh, in cornering, so and also uh, extra weight a little bit as well. Um, now, one thing that was mentioned to me, uh, and I wasn't really aware of it, and, and I, I've, I've started to do it now, but is taking a little bit of the life off, just a little bit to help keep the weight of the car down. So it looks as though, by you know, the, the front wing particularly. <laughs> Has added a little bit of weight to the car, but uh, we'll we'll do a weight loss regime in a little bit uh, here. Now side pods, uh, we already had the new ones on the car, so that's good. Now we do have the underfloor that has been completed as well. Uh, now we've not completely finished upgrading this as of yet, um, but it, it is obviously coming, and this will help us again in uh, help us move the car forward so that is all promising and was there something else did the suspension i think we've got the same suspension on both cars now so that's good um but that is pretty much everything for the for the race so it puts us uh fifth in top speed and the effectiveness third in dirty air tolerance and the extra weight we have a bit of a heavy car now so that's something that i've got to just remember to do when i when we're designing parts and i'll do it from now on obviously now i'm aware of that uh, I forget who it was in the comment. You'll know who you are if you make your, make yourself known in the comments of this episode, so you get the credit for that. Um, but yeah, we, we I I need to work on that essentially. So we're 20 kilos overweight now. <laughs> it's uh, I mean I wish I was 20 kilos overweight. I'm at least double that I think in real in uh, right there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. So that is uh, that is the car. Uh, now the drivers, we've had a little bit of a change in. Uh, can we see it here? No. The development is that they are moving forward uh, a little bit, but I, I don't, I'm not quite sure how to show you that, so we won't bother. Uh, now, facilities was the other thing I did want to show you. Um, now, the car development the facilities, we haven't moved anything here as of yet. We still have $14 million in the bank. I just want to make sure that we're not running out of money through the season, and then we can, at the end of the year, we'll look to... I th well, when, the top, when we feel safe that we're going to have enough money to get to the end of the year competitively, 
then we'll look to upgrade things. We did have a little bit of an issue with our race simulator, so that has been offline for a bit. It's it's all getting fixed up, and it will be fine. It's one of those. I'll, actually, I should probably show you that. And then the facilities, as you can see, five star helipad. Uh, the weather center is going to be a three star or four star. It's going to be a four star, uh, and we will obviously upgrade that again when the when the opportunity comes. That was about three and a half million or four million, something along those lines. So upgrade that. And uh, yeah, everything else there, we'll do it as, as the time comes around. Uh, the tour center only costs 100 grand, and that brings a little bit of extra money in. So maybe, maybe we'll go and do that as well. Get those Ferrari tours in full swing. Uh, so that, yeah, the racing simulator issue that we had. So this is it here. Uh, there was uh, there was structural damage. So we, we, we fixed it. Basically, it was shut down for seven days, cost us 80 grand. Uh, and then when that happened, there was another 84 grand to, uh, yeah, there was structural damage. So it just makes repairs and everything. Just take my money, take my money and fix it. Basically, it was my attitude. And that is what has happened. So that is everything caught up on. And let's go and have a look here now at Baku. It is one of the great tracks, isn't it? It is uh, just a little bit crazy. Now, this is, of course, a sprint weekend as well, our first sprint weekend. So I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do this and keep the episode length uh, reasonable. I've already blabbered on too long. So for qualifying, it's red sector one, blue sector two, yellow sector three. We might not even show that much of qualifying given that the sprint will determine our uh, race positions. We can see there lots of uh, lots of slow 90 degree corners and long fast straights. Car attributes, top speed and low speed cornering. Time considerations we can see there as well. Knocks a little bit of time off for a safety car stop. Uh, a one stop is the preferred uh, strategy here compound performance there's not a huge uh, eight tenths of a second between soft and uh, and hard not a huge difference between hard and medium uh, about what's that three tenths four tenths of a second but the soft tire degrades at a tenth of a second a lap so it is going to it's going to fall away quickly um if we have a look at historic results here it's uh it's it's always a not necessarily a strange result uh, that was a strange result but uh, you know, Perez, that was the, was that the year that uh, Hamilton locked up into Turn 1 after a red flag. Bottas has been the, the blow-up of tyres for Verstappen. And it just seems that strange things seem to happen here, don't they? So that is that. Now, our performance targets. Reach Q2, we should be doing that. We'll go for a top four qualifying. Now, the one issue we maybe have here bringing so many upgrades is that we're only going to have one free practice session to be able to uh, get everybody used to the car, set it up and all that kind of stuff. So maybe it's not the best race to bring in loads of, uh, of new parts, but we've done it now. Let's go and see what we can do. So confirmation of the weather it is going to be a dry weekend. I'm going to go and do a free practice one, uh, and I will see you for qualifying very shortly. All right, so we've done our one free practice session, and it was okay. Uh, fifth and sixth, I'm still not convinced. We've, we don't know if we've got to set up, because we just haven't had time to... That it's, it's sort of unknown, basically, what our setup is. We weren't able to get the five from five that you need to get to, to, to see what you've got. So, yeah, that that's how free practice played out. It's a blind race for everybody, essentially. So let's go to qualifying. I'm not 100% sure the best way to do this. I'm thinking I might uh, FP what at Q1 and Q2. I'll just show you times, and then if it's Q3, we'll come back for that. So we're absolutely fine. Just did the one run. It's looking as though you can see there's a gap there between Giovinazzi in eighth and uh, Albon in ninth. It's looking as though the top four teams are uh, clear of everybody now. So that being the case, I expect Q2 to be smooth sailing. So again, very, very good. Uh, we have Mick P3. Now, I, I tried the toe on this time around, and it worked for Mick. I messed it up a little bit with Giovinazzi, so he's a little bit uh, further back. But third and sixth is not too bad at all. Uh, comfortably through into Q3. Let's go and see how where we're going to start this sprint race from. All right, we've had a red flag. Uh, we're going to see what happens. It looks like it's an Aston Martin, so that's Lance Stroll, so that's a good thing. Oh, there's a cut corner there, mate. Uh, so yeah, that is obviously him out of qualifying. All right, so we have not had time to uh, do a run and then come back in and uh, put fresh tyres on and go again. So it will be second for Mick, who got a massive toe. Uh, he got to go first in front, and then Giovinazzi, who gave out that toe, uh, he will be starting sixth. But you can see there's some cars here that haven't even put a lap time in yet, uh, so I shouldn't say sixth just yet. Is that anybody going to move up it? Oh, they are going to move up. So it's seventh for Giovinazzi. That's a shame. So there we go. Confirmation of the grid. Didn't just didn't quite have enough time. I should have. Uh, I couldn't have done anything differently. You know, we did one run. We just didn't have time to do two. We went straight out as soon as the session restarted. All right. So here we go for the sprint. Is there any chance that a soft tire could do it? I mean, we know a soft tire degrades quite quickly. 
But it does look as though it's going to get there fairly comfortably, doesn't it? Let's maybe with Giovinazzi try it and uh, Mick will put on the medium given that he is... The soft tyre is going to get there. I'm fairly confident of that. Right? 17 laps? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Alright, it's a sprint race. It's going to be quick. Uh, we'll find out where we're starting in the Grand Prix proper. And there is some points, of course, as well for the top eight, I think, isn't it? All right, so here we go. Excellent qualifying from Mick, less so for Giovinazzi. Let's see, let's see how we do here. We're on board with Antonio Giovinazzi. Uh, like I say, I want to try and keep the episode length uh, below an hour, so we'll do sort of minimal, uh, minimal look at the at the sprint race at just any major moments. Most cars, yeah, most cars are on the soft tire. Um, it it seemed like it was going to get there quite comfortably. So, yeah. Uh, DRS, I think, comes available in a couple of laps, doesn't it? Can Giovinazzi get a move in on Gasly here, ideally? Um, now, of course, reminder: this is this is where we're going to this determines where we start the race. It's not uh, it's not its own thing like it is in real life. Um, the game is obviously taken the original rules as they as they were written, I guess, for the year rather than what they ended up with, where Saturday is just a standalone sprint event. So. Yeah, we don't need to do anything silly here. What we don't want to do is move backwards in the race. Or backwards down the grid for the race, I should say. So Mick Schumacher has gone up to second, so that's very nice. We'll take that. Um, Giovinazzi, if he can get himself up into sixth here. A front row start for Mick, sixth for uh, Giovinazzi. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I just about sign up for that now. But there's still 15 or 16 or so laps to go here. All right, so unfortunately, Mick is falling a little bit backwards here. He's back to sixth. Now, what I'm wondering is if everybody is uh, is going a little bit harder on their tires. Um, we know the drop-off is uh, it was a tenth of a second to lap, so if you push the tires hard, it's going to obviously be even worse than that. So we're sixth and seventh now. I'll be interested to see if lap times come back to us, and this race might, uh, might come back our way a little bit towards the end. But again, this isn't where the, the major points are dished out. If we start sixth and seventh... Um, I'd rather that than pushing and, and ending up, you know, down the back of the grid. So, yeah, we're sort of battling amongst ourselves right now. Giovinazzi looks to be the faster car. Um, and he probably is. It's, you know, Mick got his, his toe in qualifying, which uh, which put him right up the front there. So, just got a little gap ahead of uh, the, the, the rest of the field here. And Stroll is sort of stuck in, in with that. So, yeah. We'll wait and see, but uh, if we if the time if they look like they're coming back to us, we'll have a bit of a push towards the end. But as otherwise, I think we're happy with sixth and seventh on the grid. Okay, okay so we're on board with Giovinazzi. He has indeed been able to close things up a little bit. Uh, we we'll, might just back Nick off a bit because he's he's nowhere near it. But we've uh, we've been charging our battery behind these guys, and we now as we come around to start the last lap have DRS and ERS to play with. We are right behind Alonso, who is behind Russell, who has Perez not that far away. So we would be looking for a good uh, third or second row of the grid is what we want here, as uh, Russell and Alonso go a little bit defensive. That should give us a good run out of here. Are we going to quite have enough? We're going to get past George Russell. Can we now go and get Alonso as well? That was probably our last chance, and uh, we can see Perez is actually right behind Hamilton now. Hamilton was right up with Verstappen last time I uh, I looked up that way. So, yeah, it's interesting to see what exactly has happened there. Uh, let's take it off of uh, the ploy there. I don't think we're going to have anything for uh, Alonso, because he's going to get DRS here as well. And I don't actually think there's another battery charge before the end of the lap anyway. So... It's looking like it's going to be P5 for Giovinazzi on the start grid. Mick will start 7th, which is a little bit disappointing, down 4 places for him. And decent points as well for 5th and 7th. That all adds to the uh, all adds to the tally. And uh, yeah, and I think we can be reasonably, reasonably happy with that. So that's how the sprint race finishes up. So we get 4 points for Giovinazzi. I'm not sure you don't get a point for fastest lap. Uh, so we get, yeah, 4 points for Giovinazzi, 2 points for Mick. And uh, that will, as I say, it'll all help, won't it? It'll all help when uh, they divvy up the, the uh, prize at the end of the year. But it is now time for the main lane. race, as we can see here. Uh, and technically, we could do a hard tyre the whole way, as I think Esteban Ocon showed in real life, didn't he? So that makes me think, that makes me think you do a soft tyre, and then you do a hard tyre. When the soft tyre is, uh, is coming towards the end of its life, don't you? And then I think with Mick, because now Mick is starting behind us, I think what we do with him is we go the other way. So we uh, 
we start on the hard tyre, and we look to, oh, no, not that one, this way, and then we look to finish on the soft. Uh, and we've seen before with Mick that that can pay, or with both cars, I think, actually, we've done it with both cars, that can work in our favour. And then, of course, if we need to, uh, if we need to get, to, if we get safety cars, we need to change things, we've got medium tyres to play with there as well. So, I think I like that. Let's, uh, let's get this show on the road, see if we can go back-to-back -back wins. I don't, we don't have the fastest car. Uh, we don't have the best pit crew. We don't have the best drivers. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> okay, welcome back. This is the main event now. You can see us there, fourth and fifth. Uh, no, fifth and seventh. What did I say when we were starting? Yeah, fifth and seventh. So let's jump on board here with Giovinazzi. He's already lost one place off the line, which isn't great. Uh, but he's got that back. Now, everybody else is uh, starting on a softer or medium. Mick is the only one on a hard tie-up. So as we've seen before with Mick, he just needs to, uh, when we put anybody, either of our drivers on this strategy, I think it's usually Mick, isn't it? But you've just got to stay with everybody. Uh, he will have the advantage of, uh, of DRS once it becomes available to try and uh, keep him towed up. So that's what, uh, that's what we need to try and do. But what Giovinazzi doesn't need right now is to be stuck behind George Russell on a medium tyre while everybody else runs up the road. We ideally need to try and get this overtake done as quickly as possible. So Alonso and Hamilton are battling at the front. Um, yeah, I mean, this is when our tyre it has the, its major advantage. It's going to drop away as, obviously, the run goes on here, the first stint. Can we go and get a move done on Mr. George Russell? I don't think we're going to get it done there. Potentially, though, into turn three. Let's see if we get a good exit. We should have a traction advantage on the soft tyres, you would have thought. Um, but no, it doesn't look like that is going to happen, and we've not really anywhere else to overtake now for the rest of the lap. Um, yeah, well, it might get a little bit difficult. We might find ourselves a little bit stuck as uh, Lance Stroll gets past Mick Schumacher. Up. But again, um, oh, he's put a move on him, has he? No, not quite. We were certainly side by side there when we went back with Mick. Um, yeah. Well, DRS is available under this lap. That'll that'll change the race. Uh, Know, make passing a little bit more difficult, but a little more difficult, a little bit more easy, I should say. But uh, 51 laps, not many laps. It'll go by pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, we need Giovinazzi. He needs to get this move done pretty quickly here, doesn't he? Because those uh, front uh, front four, are, uh, they're pulling away. Watching the All right, so Giovinazzi has finally managed to get past uh, George Russell. That took a few more laps than he would have liked, even with DRS. But Hamilton's right there. Let's see if he can track down the other Mercedes now. Uh, he did eventually get this done. Just took a little while. To give it a and go. Giovinazzi does go and get Hamilton as well. You'll notice it's an Aston Martin behind us. Stroll has got past George Russell as well. Russell is uh, dropping off the pace a little bit on those medium players. Now in fourth place. Well, this helps our cause. Hamilton and Stroll going side by side. And Lewis Hamilton into the wall. So uh, that's damage for him. And hopefully a penalty for Stroll. All right, so a quick race update. We are coming towards the uh, the pit window here for Giovinazzi anyway. Unfortunately, the Aston Martins are absolutely flying. Alonso's three seconds in the lead, and Stroll just uh, came up behind Giovinazzi and essentially drove straight past him, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, that is not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is that is that and is we happening. Need to increase um, pushing status. Yeah, we'll push those tires Copy. as much as we can now to get to the end uh, end of the stint, I should say. Um, and what we might do is, if we are in DRS of uh, Stroll, is just look to harvest our battery, and then when we come out of the pits, we'll do a couple of deploy laps and look for undercuts here. But uh, yeah, pushing these tires as we are, uh, we've gotten past him. Um, and we're obviously doing some decent lap times here. I think lap 20 was when we were scheduled to come in. Not too concerned that Stroll's got back past because I think he is our race right now. Um, so if we do one more optimal lap, I'm going to ignore that for now because I think we're Energies still doing decent lap Copies. times on these tyres, even though they are a little old. Um... So we'll see. We're uh, going a little heavy on the petrol there, perhaps, as well. If you're wondering about Mick, he's currently in eighth. He's doing decent lap times on his hard tyres. You can see we're pushing him on a little bit uh, on his hard tyres as well. So, yeah, we'll see. if um, We might do... What we might do is we'll call him in, but we'll call him in for next lap. 
uh, and go onto these hard tyres. I think that's uh, maybe the best way to proceed here because we are we are going quite quick. We're pulling out a little bit of a gap on Stroll here as well. Uh, and still doing our personal best sectors as well. So there's no need to, to rush the pit stop here. All right, so here we go with Giovinazzi for his stop. Please, Jesus, do a good one, Ferrari. Oh, nice. Just 2.6 seconds. Uh, we will now do deploy laps with him. We should come out in free air just behind Mick. We have, so that's worked out nicely. Uh, and if we can get my thing back up here, please. There we go. Deploy. We don't need to be pushing the tires quite that hard. We will go aggressive on them, though. I think we can see from Mick that we're able to go aggressive on the hard tires and they don't degrade that much quicker than, than they otherwise would. So let's see. Let's see if we can get an undercut on Stroll here. Now there's a chance medium to hard was what the the AI was sort of supposed to do, I suppose. So we'll see if, uh, if by doing this undercut we're able to at least give ourselves track position and then it's going to be a matter of trying to fight to keep them out of the DRS. Um... And we've seen previously, I think, around here on the last version of the game, that a soft tyre late in the race can uh, can do a lot of good. So we might even we might even with Giovinazzi, if uh, if we're looking like we are going to get eaten up, come in for a soft and uh, yeah, see if we can flip the switch on that one. All right, so this is looking fairly promising for Giovinazzi to maybe even move himself up to third because he's going a second and a half, two seconds, a second and a half, a second, yeah, a second and a half or so faster than everybody. Now Alonso has come into the pits to come out not that far ahead of us. Uh, he was a soft tyre runner as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've only used up a couple of percentage. And here we go. These are the big stops. Giovinazzi comfortably, comfortably comes out in front of, uh, of Stroll and Hamilton. So that looks as though it's worked out uh, fairly nicely for us. Now they do have a medium tyre, but the medium tyre is going to degrade. So they've gone soft medium, which is aggressive. But we've got a, a three, second, uh, three second swing on him. And uh, we'll see exactly how fast he is. He was rapid, to be fair. He was very, very quick when he came up behind us in that first stint. But uh, he's already taken the gap back to 2.9. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, Perez is very much in danger of, uh, of getting undercut by us here as well. He's on a soft tyre, so we should be coming in soonish. So uh, yeah, this uh, this might be a, a sniff of a podium. All right, so Verstappen and Perez are in the pit. We are right behind Mick Schumacher. Uh, we might just need to ask you, don't fight your teammate if you can just get out of the way. Has Perez come out of the pit yet? He has not. So we have indeed managed to leapfrog uh, Harvest. <laughs> Don't overtake him again, please, Mick. Just sit there. Harvest your battery, and you can have a crack at fastest lap when the time comes. Um, yeah, but if if he can if he can sit there and keep Hamilton behind as well, that would be uh, that would be a very nice thing. His pit window is open. Um, so there's an argument to say. Well, let's push on the tyres. If we can harvest and push on the tyres, then oh, we're just outside DRS here, though. So that's not really working, and Hamilton's going to come past. I wonder if we can sit behind Hamilton and harvest the battery. That might be doable. Uh, we've pretty much got a full battery now anyway, so we don't need to worry about it. All right, we'll be back for mixed stop momentarily. Look at the speed Hamilton has. On a soft tyre, is that soft tyre going to get to the end? I suppose is the big question. I wonder if he is two stopping. He's going to get past Giovinazzi, it looks like. And there he goes. But that wasn't a fair fight on terms of tyres, was it? But imagine how fast Mick's going to be when he comes in. Okay, so Mick Schumacher is about to come in for his stop. Now, I'm changing strategies, I think, with Giovinazzi. The soft tyre runners, now he's pushing very hard on his... We've done two good pit stops there. Uh, um, the soft tyre runners are, are doing 47s. Giovinazzi absolutely pushing the tyres as hard as he can is doing a similar sort of lap time. Um, but I'm thinking... Maybe can he get... Maybe he could push his tyres really hard to the end. Um, 
But you can see, I don't know, I don't know what to do. We'll see, we'll see how far, if he, if he can push his tyres this hard and still sort of more or less keep pace. There's a big part of me though that thinks it's 20 seconds for a pit stop. Do we risk an extra stop with Ferrari? I mean, that is, in a way, suicide, isn't it? Let's see what sort of time he does this lap. And if he does a good one this lap, then I think what we might do... Uh, what's he done? A 47.6. So he might be okay. This is going to be Mick Schumacher's attempt at fastest lap. Uh, I don't want to take too much out of the tyres, but equally... Um, we're looking to try and... We have, we've got to do a very quick lap. We've got to be in the 45. I don't know if Mick is capable of that. So we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. So he's, done, he's only done a personal best. He hasn't done purple in the first sector. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll, again, we'll wait and see on that one. He's 14 seconds. It's behind George Russell. Who's also on a soft tyre. Uh, yeah, Mick's having a bit of a lonely race here, isn't he? Uh, he's done green, green first sector. So it doesn't look like it is going to be his... Uh, his per well, it's going to be his personal best. It doesn't look like it's going to be the uh, the actual best, though. Uh, it is a 145.7. So it's not a mile away. Uh, but it is, it's not the best. So... Yeah, he couldn't uh, couldn't get that done for himself, unfortunately. Now, what do we do with Giovinazzi? Ah, uh, what do we do with Giovinazzi? So, do we look at it and think he probably loses out to he definitely loses out to Perez? Would he get back to Stroll in sixteen laps? Let's have some fun. Let's let's pit. And let's come out and let's uh, let's let's have a real crack at it. Now, of course, what we don't want to happen is um, yeah, is the old Ferrari pit stop. We're on a streak of four without an error. Is five going to be asking one too many? Let's go though. Let's go. Should have put a medium tire on really if we were going to do this, but I didn't know we were going to do this, and we've done another good one. So he will likely come out behind Mick, I think. Has Mick got past Mick? It will hopefully just stay behind. Looks like he has. So seven. Um, and we can more or less push the tyres really hard to the end here. So let's do it. Let's do it. So Giovinazzi is in the low 45s. Russell's in the high 48s. Uh, we're going to get that done. Can we get? We should be able to get back to Stroll potentially and get back out. We were in fifth, weren't we? Realistically, because Perez was driving past us when we came into the pits. So, yeah, ten laps to go. Can we get back to fifth? So we've uh, we've made that time up very very quickly. So DRS assisted, and uh, yeah, straight past him. Nicely done, Giovinazzi. One more place to go to break even. And we just saw Stroll going around that corner there, didn't we? Okay, so we have caught the back of Lance Stroll. We are going to break even on the strategy. Then it's a matter of whether we can go and uh, get Hamilton as well. Now, we're just harvesting up the battery a little bit on this lap because we weren't going to pass him this lap, I don't think, anyway. Um, so we'll use, we'll use uh, the fact we've got DRS to keep closing in and, uh, as you can see there, not quite get the overtake done and uh it's going to give us a battery to make sure what i don't want to do is is tag uh, him along him being stroll so we'll try and uh and get the overtake done and then deploy and 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 obviously take away from him and try and get to the back of hamilton as quickly as possible there's still what five or six laps to go here so the race has still got uh got some life in it we've got a lap car in front up there as well do we or is uh, hamilton not far away from perez we're not quick enough, I don't think, to go and get uh, to go and get a podium. If we go neutral, and then if we can overtake him here, that would be almost perfect. To so then go and do deploy, we'll get DRS down this straight. He won't. Let's go burn some extra petrol as well. And that is that job done. Two point five seconds to Hamilton. Is that him there, or are we lapping McLarens? No, that looks like an Aston Martin. Does uh, Aston Martin now for Romeo? So that is uh, Gwenyu Zhou out of the way. And that is 
Hamilton in front, 1.5 seconds away. And we are visibly closing on him by the by the corner, aren't we? Uh, what are we doing lap time-wise? We're significantly quicker. We are about a second faster than Perez. And just um, a reminder on guys. Probably. What's the gap to Perez? Another five seconds? No, we, it's not quite going to happen to Perez. But it's been a very, very good effort to, uh, to close in and uh, basically get fourth place back. Would we have done that anyway? We'll never know. We've done fastest lap, have we? Giovinazzi. Extra point as well. We wouldn't have got that if we hadn't uh, stopped for, uh, for the fresh tyres. So, five seconds to Perez. Three laps to go. It looks like this is the Williams. Um, so, I don't think that's going to happen. The next question is, can Mick close down uh, Russell? He is a second and a bit faster. He's five seconds behind. That is, I think we have to agree, unlikely. Uh, we'll keep pushing as much as we can to get Hamilton out of DRS range. Uh, but he's got Stroll behind him, so I'd imagine that that is going to be his biggest concern right now. And we'll just just edge off these tyres a little bit just to make sure that we are going to get to the end fairly comfortably. And uh, yeah, we'll turn our attention to Mick. And if he can close down this gap now to George Russell. Four seconds in three laps. That last lap, he did a 45 to Russell's 48. Or let's say a 46 to Russell's 48. Uh, that could, based off of that, be on. So let's stay with this. I bet must be Russell up there. He's got traffic, does he? Some lap traffic, perhaps. Uh, we are catching him very, very quickly, though. And I think we're going to do this, you know. Just keeping an eye on the Giovinazzi gap. He's two and a half seconds away, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we can push the tyres up a little bit more as well if we need to. Now, this looks like a McLaren is in front of us. Piastri is running uh, last. Uh, now, I don't know if we're going to get DRS off the back of that or not. I don't know that... I think the detection point's here somewhere, so I don't know that we will. Uh, but he is down to 1.7 seconds. That is George Russell in front of us. Can we get this done? We've basically got a lap, don't we, to get within DRS range. And then we'll be trying to get it done into this corner, ideally. And uh, and then go from there. Now, is this George Russell or is this another lap car? It looks like a Mercedes, doesn't it? I think it's the red rear wing and the silver car. It must be. And we've got uh, a Williams, it looks like, in front as well. So we have caught the back. Can we go and get 7th now? A 4th and a 7th would be a very decent result from this race for us, wouldn't it? Come on. Now is George Russell going to get DRS off the back of the Williams? Is Logan Sargent, our former driver of course, about to uh, ruin this for us? He has because he has got DRS as George Russell. We're going to get a dose of uh, deployment, so we're going to use it. And, oh, Russell's got it again. Can Mick go and lunge it deep into the corner and take the position? He's on the inside. Has he done enough? He is in front. Is he going to stay there? I think he might. And Mick Schumacher, despite Sargent doing everything he could to ruin that move for us, has got the move done and is ahead of George Russell into seventh place. That was very, very nicely done. Talk about bad timing from Logan Sargent, though. So, uh, Mick just needs to stay there now. Stroll is still, he's four seconds back of, I tell you what, Giovinazzi, not a mile away from the back of Sergio Perez here for the podium. Uh, and catching him at, well, not quite a second a lap, to be honest. But, so there we go. So, Verstappen wins. Alonso second. That's not a great result for our Constructors' Championship. But what it, we have done is we have got uh, Giovinazzi coming home fourth. And, and Mick flag. Schumacher has done enough. He has done enough to get seventh ahead of George Russell. That's an enjoyable race. I did enjoy that one. So there we go. Verstappen wins. Alonso second. Antonio Giovinazzi comes in fourth with fastest lap. So uh, 13 points for him. Mick picks up the six points. The Drivers' Championship. Uh, we've lost out a little bit there to Alonso, haven't we? But still right in contention. And Mick Schumacher has held station in eighth. He's sort of bottom of that top for the top four teams, isn't he? 
Um, but he has pulled back a little bit on George Russell there as well. So not a bad weekend all round. And the Constructors, we are third. We've lost a little bit of ground to Aston Martin on that one. Uh, but we have extended the gap to Mercedes. So it is, it's definitely a three-horse race for the second, isn't it? We've just got to try and make sure we're the second of those horses. Uh, or the first of those three horses, I suppose. In terms of pit stops, we have rubbish still. So uh, no, nothing there. And... Well, that's just kind of what it is, isn't it? They weren't terrible. They were solid pit stops. I'm okay with solid pit stops. We just don't want to be uh, losing out massively when we come in to change tyres. So that is all very, very good. And we have Miami next. Always one that is uh, throws a little bit up, doesn't it? Now we've got the new uh, testing period begins uh, today, is it? Yeah, so we can go and update the car again. But I'll catch up on what we've done there next race. Uh, so if you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next out time in Miami. And uh, yeah. The Aston Martins looked worryingly quick there, didn't they? Take care.